Can you hear that rain? Don't judge the socks. Whoa. These actually look so cool. Let's get to it. Mm, it smells amazing. Morning guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a little bit of a different one. I wanted to do a like day in the life lockdown type vlog just because I've seen a lot of people doing these type of videos. I personally really enjoy them. I wanted to do a bit more of a vloggy video on my main channel. I've got some decorating to do. I want to try that thing that everyone has been doing on TikTok and YouTube where they bleach their own clothes and do like a bleach tie dye. I want to try it and I've seen other people's videos of it. I want to test it myself and see if I can like make something look cool. It's actually Saturday on the day that I'm filming this. I did start filming this video yesterday, but it got to five o'clock in the afternoon and I was still editing and I was like, hmm, maybe I'm not going to have time to do everything that I wanted to do in this video. And I thought an entire video of just me editing probably wouldn't be that entertaining. I wanted to do some fun stuff. So that's why I've decided to film it today on Saturday when it's like not a working day, even though I can technically work whenever I want. My sleeping schedule has been so messed up throughout this lockdown. Most days Days, I've been going to sleep about 3 waking up about 11. So that's exactly what I've done today The first thing I need to do is go and get some breakfast. So that's what I'm gonna do So breakfast is done don't judge the fact that I still eat a cracker pops even though I'm 23 years old We don't have a dishwasher at the moment. Um, so I'll do the washing up. I've got some tidying to do my filming room is an absolute mess i'm gonna do my makeup to make myself feel a little bit better about myself i've got some decorating to do i'm gonna try and bleach some of my clothes so we'll see where the day takes us so i'm gonna go have a shower i'm gonna get myself dressed i was gonna wear a cute summery outfit today however the sky currently looks like this it's probably a bit of a weird camera angle but i've like propped you up on the windowsill so i've got natural lighting it is now pouring with the rain outside but that's okay i'm gonna give myself a bit of a like glow up to make me feel a bit better about myself i've already got a bit of a tan going on which is obviously me being me it's not a real tan my skin does tan if i do go out on sunbathe for an extended period of time but i way prefer to not damage my skin and just use fake tan so I can look like this without even having to go outside if it's bad weather I can still get a nice summer glow without damaging my skin during lockdown obviously I've been inside even more than I already was so fake tanning is perfect so what I've actually got on right now is the body shop's coconut bronze gradual tan lotion so they have just launched a new coconut range well the range is called coconut bronze because it's a specifically bronzing range if you guys didn't actually know already I am actually a body shop ambassador which is really cool but obviously at the moment with miss corona a lot of their campaigns and product launches and stuff have been pushed back and i was actually going to do a meet and greet with them but it's had to be cancelled because of corona however we do have a solution we're going to be doing a virtual online zoom meet and greet i'll talk more about that in a minute but i'm just going to quickly talk about their coconut bronze range so this little portion of the video is sponsored by the body shop this entire coconut bronze range is vegan and cruelty free which is great so they've got the coconut bronze gradual tan lotion which has got coconut water in it which is what i've used i've got two layers of this on and i have to say it is a gorgeous gradual tan compared to other ones i've used this one is such a natural color as in it really gives you a nice looking natural summer glow without turning you into a satsuma also you can use this on your face as well this one is 19 pounds i'm just going to insert footage of me applying this just to like show you what it's like because i did put this on two days ago hello it's me your uh, local friendly villager reminding you to not squeeze your spots <laughs> so yesterday before i went to sleep i did one layer of the gradual tan you can kind of tell the color difference between between my face and my neck. But you can actually also use this on your face, which I'm gonna to do today, but I thought I would just do a second layer just to make it slightly darker because it is a gradual tan lotion. It's kind of in the name. You can use it over a few days if you wanna build a darker color. What I really like about this one is that it dries really fast. It does have a guide color, which some gradual tans don't have. So obviously step one is to not put this on when you're wearing white clothes. So <laughs> I'm gonna show you like maybe me putting this on my legs. I feel like that might be the easiest application without exposing myself on the internet. You can literally just rub it in as if you're rubbing in a moisturizer although if you are using your hands rather than a mitt make sure you wash them thoroughly afterwards so i'm gonna go to sleep and then when i wake up in the morning i will shower off the slight guide color that it's got and then i will show you guys what the tan looks like once it's all developed and everything the next day hi uh welcome to me first thing in the morning but as you can see the tan has definitely developed a little bit more over the night i now need to go and have a shower wash off the kind of guide color so i think the last clip that you saw 
was me talking about how I was gonna go have a shower. But if I just scooch back a little bit, this is what two layers of the gradual tanning lotion looks like. I just think it is such a gorgeous color and it's gone so even on my chest and my neck and even on my elbows and everything they haven't gone like super dark i feel like i should show you my legs because that's what i showed you like me applying it don't judge the socks okay this is definitely completely unnecessary because you can see the rest of my body they also have the coconut bronze glowing wash off tan this has been an absolute lifesaver you probably wouldn't have noticed but i'm actually wearing that in this video here i will put a like picture of the thumbnail on the screen this one is 14 pounds and what you do with this Sorry, mine's a bit messy. I probably could have cleaned it beforehand. What I just do sometimes with this, I will just put it on my neck and I will put it like on my hands and like halfway up my arms if I'm wearing a jumper or something. Then I look like I've got this lovely bronze glowing tan and it's extremely minimal effort, which I'm a big fan of. I kind of want to show you the formula of it, but then I will have like one tan to patch on my... Let's just do it anyway. I can wash it off, it's fine. So, comes out like this, which looks a little bit scary. But as you blend it in, it's just a really gorgeous sheer layer of tan. And it blends in super easily to your skin. As you can see, there's just a little bit more color on this side. I'm just gonna do my other hand to match. They've also got the Coconut Bronze Matte Bronzing Powder and the Coconut Bronze Glistening Glow Powders. So the matte bronzing powder comes with one of these little powder puffs and then on the inside, it's got this leaf print and the Glistening Glow Powder looks like this on the inside. So it's got a beautiful champagne -y highlighter on this side and then a darker, more tan highlighter on this side. But I'm just gonna do my makeup. I'm gonna incorporate these two and I'm gonna give myself a bit of a glow up because the weather outside is gross and I feel like I want to make myself feel a bit better. So I'm using the matte bronzing powder first. Just adding a little bit of blush. To give myself some glow, I'm using the Coconut Bronze Glistening Glow Powder, which looks like this. I'm actually gonna take the bronzy shade and use it kind of like a bronzer topper. Just a little bit. And then I'm taking the champagne shade. This is the finished makeup look. So I just want to quickly touch on the Zoom meet and greet that I mentioned a minute ago. I've got all the details here because I don't want to get anything wrong. The Body Shop have got their Time to Care campaign at the moment which is all about self-love, looking after yourself, looking after your body because with everyone cooped up inside at the moment um, now is a better time than ever to take care of yourself. So as part of that campaign I was going to do a meet and greet like in person so I could talk to you guys and it was going to be really fun but obviously with Corona we can't do that. So instead we're going to be holding a Zoom meet and greet competition. So Five winners will be chosen to join the Zoom call, which will obviously be with me so we can have a chat. There's also going to be five runners up that will win the entire Coconut Bronze range. Five people at random will be chosen after one week of this video being live. So if you would like to enter to take part in this competition, all you've got to do is leave a comment down below with the hashtag time to care and one positive thing about being on lockdown in the summer. But just in case that was confusing, I will leave all of that information down below with like the closing date and everything that you need to do to enter. So if you haven't understood, read down in the description box right i think it's time for me to go have some lunch and then get on with the stuff that i need to do today i'm also going to put a jumper on because it's a little bit chilly um so hi welcome to my bathroom floor i've got some old t-shirts here actually no i've got one old t-shirt then i've also got the matching joggers to this jumper these are actually from my notice range but i've got two pairs of these so i wanted to see if i could bleach tie dye them to make them look really cool. I'm not going to tell you how to do this. I'd suggest watching some other like more instructional videos. Just type in bleach tie dye on YouTube and it comes up. If you're a child, don't do this without parents permission because obviously bleach can be dangerous. Get a parent to help you if you do want to try this yourself. Use gloves because it can damage your hands and maybe don't wear clothes that you would mind getting bleach on unless you want to actually bleach tie dye them. I've actually only got four rubber bands so I'm not really sure how this is going to go but we'll give it a try. Right, so this one has got no rubber bands because my rubber band snapped. This one I've done multiple rubber bands, so I have a feeling this will turn out better, but it's an experiment. If these go wrong, they're clothes that I'm like not too bothered about, so let's see what happens. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. This isn't a pair of rubber gloves. This is like one of those caps you use for highlighting your hair.
this is so cool they're already starting to change color i don't know if i've done enough bleach though but i guess if they're not bleached enough i can always wash them and then try again i've only left this for about 15 minutes and it already looks like this i don't know whether now is the time to like rinse them with the shower or i don't know because this looks really cool Whoa, that is so cool okay like pink i want a bit more around the bottom there. I think I'm just gonna leave it a bit longer because there's still like black bits in the middle of the orange swiggles and I want it to like lighten up a bit more. They look cool. They look kind of camo. I think again, I think they need a bit more bleach. These actually look so cool. I'm not sure how these are gonna turn out, but this looks so sick. How sick does that look? Yep, they look pretty good to me too. I think the job is might have been a bit of a fail because as you can see there's some areas that are darker and then the rest of them have kind of gone yellow i think because this was such a light color to start out with when i started rinsing the bleach out like immediately all the bleach just kind of bled down the joggers and started lightening up the rest of the color I am so excited to wash this and wear it. I'm gonna chuck those in the wash. I'll probably do them separately just so that it doesn't get over like other clothes. Um, and then I'll show you the finished result later on maybe when they dry. Wow, there is the biggest black cloud just filling the sky right now. I've just taken um, my t-shirt out of the wash and put it in the airing cupboard, like the cover with the boiler to dry. But my next job of the day is to try and remove some like scraps of wallpaper that are still left on one of the walls, walls in our living room. We do want to paint the whole living room because at the moment, like we don't really like the color of it. But there's like a big panel in the middle um, where there's an electric fireplace, which we still haven't figured out how to use. But I think we want to paint that like a different color. So it's like a, more of an accent wall. Not 100% sure like what sort of color we're going to paint it yet, but there there is still some wallpaper bits that I need to like scrape off with a scourer. So while that is in the washing machine, that's what I'm gonna go do now. The only problem is, it is so, can you tell like what the sky is like just from the lighting in this room? The sky is completely overcast with clouds. And the lighting in this room really is not very good. Like, wow, look at this sky. So this is the patch of wall right here that I'm talking about. Um, we did try and like scrape off some of the bits, but the problem is like, we can't figure out how to get this fireplace off so that we can get the wallpaper that's like right behind here. So I was trying to do it with um, some tweezers and obviously like one of these scoury things i don't even know what that's called like wallpaper scraper but all over the wall there's still these little scraps of wallpaper that i need to like spray um scrape all of them off maybe do a bit of poly filler god i know if you're not interested in like house stuff this is probably going to be the most boring part of the vlog so i have got like a wallpaper steamer thing which is in this box here but i haven't actually used that yet because i don't think i need it but this is the current state of the living room we do have a sofa bed but it's not a very good one like can you see how wonky this is we put it together and everything followed the instructions all we had to do was slot this piece into this piece and it's turned out like this i guess you get what you pay for um but this was kind of like a temporary solution we thought it'd be a bit better than this but it's fine and this is our current dining table setup we've got two fold out chairs a desk where the uh, leg is completely wonky should probably tidy this but first i'm gonna do that can you hear that rain? Also, I changed my other jumper because I spilt my food down it, so in general, I'm just a mess. Let's get to it. Also, as well, if anybody has any tips about removing wallpaper from behind a fireplace, because I don't just want to rip the fireplace off, because one, it doesn't come off easy, two, I don't want to just gas the whole house. I've done the majority of like all the, there was just like loads of little bits that were all over the wall. So I've got most of those, but the bit that is underneath that is really hard to get to because I've only got a giant scraper. I think what I'm gonna have to do is leave that bit until I've got a much narrower scraper so that I can actually like get behind there. But at least now it's mostly even because it had loads of little bits on it before. So I've just came to check on this. It is still wet. So it's obviously not like fully the color that's gonna be when it's fully dry. Parts of it have gone brown. I'm not sure if you can see here. I think again, that's where like the bleach kind of ran down as I was rinsing it. I'm not sure how you can overcome that problem, but I still think this looks so sick. On the agenda for the rest of the day, James is currently cooking dinner, which is really nice of him because 
because he does cook a way better steak than I do. So I am going to tackle this room. So my filming room is currently an absolute mess just because the past two videos I filmed, I have just chucked everything, left it where it was. And because I don't sleep in here, like with my bedroom and stuff, I had to move all the makeup off of my bed in my old house. As in like when I live with my parents, but because this room is a completely different room, I don't have to sleep in here, so I just kind of leave it after I filmed, which is really bad. So we're gonna have our food, and then this evening we're planning to watch a Netflix film. I think it's a documentary called 13th, which loads of people have recommended to me, like, over the past couple of weeks. I've heard that it's a really powerful documentary and really educational and quite emotional, so... So we are gonna be watching that later, and then probably just chilling for the rest of the evening, to be honest. Let's do something about this. Amazing. A few moments later. So I've just got myself some Ben and Jerry's ice cream with some chocolate sauce. Health. And an orange because life is all about balance. And I am taking this upstairs and me and James are gonna watch the Netflix documentary. So I'll see you in a bit. Wow, okay, that documentary was so incredibly powerful, emotional, shocking, educational. I highly recommend if you guys haven't watched it, it's called 13th and it's on Netflix. It's all about racism in America, police brutality, their prison system. It was wild. But it was very well put together and extremely eye-opening. So I would highly recommend that if you guys haven't seen it, to go and watch it. And I've just realised that I've left my joggers in the washing machine and I never took them out. And it's now like 10 o'clock at night. So I need to go get those and I also need to finish tidying my room. Ooh. So I'm not going to put them in the air and cover because they're absolutely soaking wet. I mean, they look pretty cool, but they've definitely gone much lighter than they were supposed to. But we'll see what they look like when they're dry. I think I'm just going to hang them over the bath tonight. So now that things are a bit more tidy in here, I'm feeling a lot calmer and a lot more peaceful, which is good. I think my plan now is I'm just going to sit here on my laptop for a bit. Maybe watch some YouTube videos. I'm going to do a little bit of editing because I've got a vlog that I want to edit and get up this weekend. I'm also going to play a little bit of Animal Crossing on my Switch because it's kind of like my bedtime routine these days. Mostly when I'm lying in bed, I will lie there and play Animal Crossing for about like half an hour every day before I go to sleep because I just find it really relaxing. And also sometimes I will sit here on my laptop, watch a video and play Animal Crossing at the same time. So I think that's what I'm going to do with the rest of my evening. I'm going to insert a little clip here of what the um, tie-dye, bleach dye clothes turned out like once they're fully dried because i want to show you what they look like but other than that i think that is it the time is currently a quarter past midnight <laughs> i'm probably gonna be up for another two hours let's be real but i hope you guys enjoyed this day in my life during lockdown it probably wasn't the most exciting but i hope you enjoyed it nonetheless thank you to the body shop for sponsoring their little part of the video if you guys are interested in any of the range i will leave links down below and also as well all of the details for entering the zoom meet and greet giveaway competition thing so i hope you guys are all doing good i'm sending my love to all of you and if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you want to stick around then subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video bye